Today in Dr. Mouse Kitchen, we're gonna make a stuffed acorn squash. It's gonna have veggies all stuffed inside and a few little grapes, so it's gonna be delicious. So come on to my kitchen and let's get started. All right, so what we want to begin with is our acorn squash. And you can see this one, I've already cut the bottom off just a little bit so it'll sit flat like this. Then I cut the top off. I have cleaned it out. So you have a little bit of stuff clean on the top and a lot of seeds are in there. So you want to clean it and rinse it. So basically, uh, then we're going to put some olive oil and I'll show you how to do that and marinate um, them with a little bit of olive oil and, and uh, pepper, salt and pepper. And then we have the same with mushrooms. I got baby bella mushrooms that I've kind of chopped here. I've got a little bit of onion that I've also chopped up here. And I got a few grapes and I'm gonna put one clove of garlic in each one of my acorn squash. And we're gonna stuff them full and we're gonna bake them in the oven at 400 for about an hour. But let me show you how to do the cutting of the acorn squash. First of all, you wanna cut the bottom just so. Now, can y'all see that okay? just to make sure, make sure it's going to sit up. So we'll discard that. And then we're going to cut our top here and go through here. And you see, there you go. And we'll keep our top. Now keep your top. Then I'm going to get a spoon and you can tell you can go around the spoon and you can get all the insides out here. So you see that I'm going to save actually some of the meat part of this top for this little bowl here. I've already cut the other one up. The seeds I'm gonna discard, but I'm gonna scoop all the seeds out. Right here we go. And then after I finish scooping all the seeds out, what you wanna do is go rinse it. Go inside your little uh, acorn squash, gonna rinse it with water and clean it out really, really good, okay? So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, I have some Brussels sprouts here that I've actually quartered and everything. I've more than just halved them. I quartered them so they'll fit a little bit better in our acorn. I'm gonna put them in the bag here. And then I'm going to add some olive oil, a couple of sprays there, some salt and some pepper. Now you may want a little bit more salt on yours. And what we'll do with that is we'll squish them all around in this bag just like this, get them really covered with the salt and pepper and the olive oil. And then I'm going to just pour them um, into this bowl so I can actually do the little stuffing and everything a little more. Let me unzip the bag here. All right, the next I'm going to do the same thing with my mushrooms. I'm only going to put a little bit of stuff on them though, maybe a squirt of olive oil, and then I'm going to put a little salt on them as well. And I'm going to squish them around a little bit too, and get them covered with all of that. And I'm going to pour them in their bowl right here. All right, so here's where our stuffing kind of begins, okay? So we're going to take our acorn squash and we're just going to kind of rotate through, put a little bit of that, of the Brussels sprouts, and we put a little bit of mushrooms. We're going to put a little bit of onions, some more Brussels sprouts, some more uh, baby bella mushrooms, a little bit more onion. We're going to put a little more Brussels sprouts. Now you can put whatever you kind of want in there, and I'm going to stuff it a little more. Then on the top here, I'm going to put one little clove of garlic right there. And I'm going to put a few grapes on the top to cook right there. See that? And then we'll get our top like this. Now you can get it to fit on there just like you want, like a puzzle, if you want to get it just right to where it was there before. And then we're going to put this on our baking pan right here. And I am going to spray the outside of it with olive oil. Whoops and kind of coat it just a little bit and rub the olive oil around it so it cooks really good and gives it a nice color and everything. All right, I'm gonna stuff the other one as well. And then we're gonna put them in the oven and bake them at 400 again for about an hour. You'll so my story today really doesn't have anything to do relating to an acorn squash. But um, I was gonna tell you a story about my friend that lived up the road. So when I grew up in the country, there wasn't a lot of people around. 
So I used to have a friend named Belinda. So Belinda was always there. Um, we rode the bus together. She was like one of my closest neighbors that was my age. But she used to um, milk her cow. And this is the funny thing. She used to milk her cow and she would squirt the milk from the cow into her cat's mouth. And her cat would just lay there going, mah, mah, mah. it's pretty funny. Belinda used to milk the cow and feed the cat at the same time. I loved it. Anyway, thank you. Okay, our acorn stuffed squash is ready. So come look at this. Can you see the inside here? Looks so good. We got our grapes that are so good. We've got our, our Brussels sprouts in the bottom. They're tender. So you can just eat out of it like this. Or, mm, so good. So refreshing. Or we can just cut a little section and let it flow out like that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is so good, I'm telling you. Enjoy this. Your friends that come over are going to love this surprise if you make it for them. Thank you for watching today, and don't forget to follow me on my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.